Hi there and welcome back to CNC Modeler. It's great to have you here. Today we're looking at preparing the, my 3D printed wing for its build. So if you do like the channel, please do subscribe. It helps other people find me. And if you like the videos, hit those thumbs up too, because that helps people uh, find the videos too. And if you want to be notified when uh, new stuff comes out, just hit that notification bell. So what uh, we're trying to do, well, I need to uh, cut out the ailerons and separate the parts. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I bought one of these um, and it's broken basically. So I need to make a uh, hot uh, knife for myself. So what I've done is I've bought some extra tips from a soldering iron, but uh, the cutting edge on that really, you know, pseudo cutting edge isn't really good enough. So what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna spend a little while here. This is 32 times um, filing a better point on that uh, soldering iron and um, yeah, it's better, but it's still not um, quite what I wanted. So we've got basically a nice slender taper on there now. So I want to put some edges on that. So I'm going to try and put some bevels on it. And um, I'm not going to be professed to be the uh, <laughs> the best knife maker in the world, because I'm not. Um, but I tried to put uh, a bit of an edge on this so that it'll, uh, it'll cut uh, more uh, appropriately. So what I've got, I've got, well, you may or may not be able to see, there's some bevels on there, and it's a lot more slender down to the edge. And then there's a bit of rake away from the tip as well, so that, that top tip and the sort of beveled edges can really get in there and uh, cut. So on we go. So I've got a test piece. Um, I want to try and cut. So first I need to put the new nib in my soldering iron. Obviously the soldering iron is off and cold. Um, but uh, I've forgotten these nibs, uh, the replacement nibs that I bought, they're actually too short. So what we're going to do? Well, we're just going to have to do what I did last time and cut it off and make it shorter. So let's quickly do that. And uh, literally just took the hacksaw out. These things are, I think they're maybe steel with core copper or something like that. Not quite sure to be honest. So drop that in the soldering iron. That fits nicely now. And uh, so if we now, once we've got that sorted, we just need to go in and find my test piece. So this is my test piece. The idea is I want to score down these joints. So these, that's a piece of webbing between the two printed parts. So uh, let's whack on the uh, temperature on the uh, soldering iron. I've kicked that up to 270, I think. So it's like 250 is the print temperature for ABS. So get a bit hotter so that I can cut through that. So, so these are some scrap parts that I had from a while ago. Uh, and I just keep things on hand to try stuff really. So the idea with this is just to score along the line where I want to uh, cut and just let's just make sure that this is actually hot enough seems to be so I score along the line that I want to cut and then uh, flip it over and score on the other side and see what happens so let's just do that now this is a bit bigger test piece so this is a failed print that I had um, so as you can see there was a split so this is one of the earlier prints where the uh, the internal stresses in the print cause it to split uh, so I've reinforced the leading edge with extra material um, to get that fixed now. So we're just going to cut this up. Um, so literally just, uh, again, 32 times speed. So it's not exactly the quickest of processes, but seems all right. And now I'm going to run in both of those edges and pop off that bit of flashing. And then I'm going to run inside the edges for the aileron. And if we're lucky, this is all going to pop out again. Uh, those last two pieces were obviously uh, at uh, much sped up speed. So a little bit of wiggling and they come away quite nicely. And I'm quite happy with that really. There's a bit of tidying up. So I'm using one of these um, deburring tools to go through and tidy up. Uh, just take the uh, extra plastic that the melting process took away. And then a bit of a file work. And then this bit of flashing here where um, I ended up taking a round file to that. I'm not overly happy with that process so far, but it's not too bad. And then we just whack some tape on and tape on that aileron. 
and uh, there you go it seems to work reasonably well so i think that's good enough for now so there's been plenty of playing out this about this weekend trying to get that to work um, so if you do like the video please do uh, subscribe to my channel and please do have a look at the uh, at my website and if you want to see more of my stuff just have a look at the videos that are popping up now thanks very much for your time see you again next time guys cheers